Hello everyone, I want to take some time to analyze this YouTuber that I recently came across, Anime Nyan, and how much I fucking hate him. You know, Anime Nyan is so self-assured, he's cocky, he pretends to know everything, when all he is is a lost little boy. He's a 17 year old, yet he pretends to give life advice like a moron, wielding his holier than thou attitude above everyone else like an arrogant snob. He made a recent video about China and you can see he just repeats everything western media tells him. He just disseminates propaganda like a mindless insect. I mean, Anime Nyan, you complain about being hypnotized by China when you're just as bad, actually worse. At least China isn't as fuck ugly as you are. You know how fake you sound? Your acting skills are shitty and you know it, Anime Nyan. And how about that video you made saying sorry? Well, nobody cares about how you let down your friend and how you made, like why are you making a shit post to go crying to the inter internet for sympathy? I mean, your videos take so long to come out, it's not even funny. You bloody took two months to upload a video? That is so fucking unreasonable and you know it. You're so unfocused. You do games, anime mu and movies. Can you just fucking stick to something? And you're advertising for companies. Are you just, are you some kind of company lapdog now? And you're just gonna praise all these restaurants you don't even like and lick their boots advertising overpriced junk food to a vulnerable young audience when this is the stuff that causes diabetes and cardiac arrest? Is that what your channel has come to? Your channel is small as fuck, keep your ambitions in check and stop pretending like you're some kind of god and with how smart you think you are, cause you're just pretentious. You like to pretend you're all so fancy with your fucking motion graphics, but in reality your content is shit. You're a student are you? Well then you should study, the fuck are you even doing making stupid videos when you should be studying and need to be studying right now? You're throwing your overprivileged life in the bin. You disgust me. That camera that you always talk about isn't even yours. You borrowed it off your brother without permission and you try to pretend it's yours. You fucking shit. Oh, what about that initiative you're trying to get running? You want to talk to your viewers? What a load of shit. You pretend to be good intentioned, like some kind of markiplier and like to pretend protest that we should all be good to each other only because you're a small YouTuber, only because it benefits you. But we all know what would happen if you were in his position. You'd just be a leech. That's right, you loser. You're greedy. You don't think that anyone would actually talk to you. You just want to be seen as caring when you're just shitty. You pretend to have mental illness so others can feel sorry for you when there are real people with real problems, unlike you. You're a shitty person, like you condone sex and violence, you're not even a man, you're just disgusting. You said that you masturbate online, what kind of sick bastard are you? That is disgusting that you would want to tell your child audience all about how you get yourself off, you sick creep. Shut the fuck up and kill yourself. You're a friendless fucker with too much time, everything about you, your camera skills, your elitist editing is shit so stop. Got anything to say to that shithead? I'll bet you don't cause you're a whiny, whiny little shit. You can't accept the truth, right Anime Nyan? Hello everyone, Anime Nyan here and yeah, I am Anime Nyan so I was criticizing myself but I just wanted to take a quick second just to explain why I did that. Um, because I apologize if I if I offended any of you guys with this explicit language, but I feel like it's really necessary to take a moment to reflect upon yourself, to reflect upon and embrace your shortcomings. Because a lot of the time on the internet, especially, I see as an outsider, I think it's really a really good perspective because I see other people just not receptive to feedback, and they. They, they think that it, they just dismiss it as hate, but sometimes your greatest, your greatest successes come from your greatest failures. As in, 
improving upon them and recognizing them as failures. And I just wanted to just dive in and go, go at all my mistakes and everything that I felt that I could be, that I could be hated for and to look at them really and to, to confront myself with them, to really embrace them so then I could make them into successes, right? And to really take a moment to reflect. So that's kind of why I did this. I apologize again if I if I really offended any of you guys, but it's not about, it's, it really wasn't about offending any of you guys. It was more like just looking at myself and really, truly, looking at myself truly, I guess. That's the only way to phrase this. And I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video even though this video was cobbled together really weirdly. But anyway, I hope you guys have a good time. Uh, I'll give you guys to the rest of the video. Have a good day. Hello everyone, Dreamy Scarf here. These past few days have been pretty shit. I feel frustrated, tired, and unproductive, which is why this is the perfect time to do this. Because how you act at your worst is so much more important than how you act at your best. So why, why exactly have these few days been so shitty? Well, because I finished an hour length video, which I'd been working on for the past month or so. It's all done, except I can't render it because I don't have enough space on my computer. I've already tried rendering it five times and all of them were failures. So I gave up. I said no because I'm not letting this one project shut me down. Because as I was waiting for that one project to render, wasting countless hours, just sitting around, I imagined all the wonderful projects I could be making, all the things I could be doing. But here I was just frustrating myself. And it annoys me as a person who watches YouTube so often, just silently begging creators to release another video sooner that I have become what I hate. It irks me that I haven't been able to get a video done. It irritates me that I'm letting you guys down. But you know what? One failure does not dictate who I am. I dictate who I am. And I have a goal of telling meaningful stories and I will achieve that. Just on that uh, one, one hour long project, I backed it up on, on Google Drive Links in the description if you want to have a look at it. And when I free up some computer space, I'll render it out and upload it. Okay, now that's the update. But what is this video about? Well, this video is about how to make an outstanding video quickly. And in this video, I'll show you that it works with my next video that I'm going to be also making in this video, which is kind of confusing because it's a video about a video. Inception, I know. But anyway. <laughs> You know, there's a way that you can put out outstanding quality videos without compromising on quality. Because 90% of production is actually unnecessary. It's procrastination, the small details, the indecision, when what really needs to happen is for you to execute, to make a decision. Because making something magnificent doesn't need to take that much time. Because there's this misconception where people confuse quality with the amount of time that you put in, especially in video. But really, think about that. Because I can tell you, most of the time, you're not working on the project. From my experience, I'm thinking about really trivial things like, what if I moved this one cut 0.1 seconds backward? And you know what? Nobody cares. They probably didn't even notice. If you were to operate 100% focused on the task in front of you, it would be done within minutes. And the thing is, if you put out one video every month, people, chances are people are gonna forget you. And at that point, at this point, you might just say that there's no point making something, putting something out every day if it's crap. And yeah, I agree with that mentality because I like to take my time with videos too. However, this video is about keeping that brilliant quality, only cutting out all that unnecessary junk. This doesn't mean that you have to take the same amount of time that I do to finish a video. Just make sure every second that you spent on that one video counted 
Every second was spent making the maximum impact and was actually worth something. How do you know? Well, I want you to look at me and genuinely ask yourself, how much time do I need on that project? How much? If I genuinely dedicated all my efforts towards that one project, how long would it take? And I mean, it would vary between project to project because if your project's really long, it would take a different amount of time. And I'm gonna do this right now while I'm writing this script. I'm gonna tell you that I'm going to finish my next project, analyzing Anime Nyan in one hour and 30 minutes in filming and editing, not counting the writing and the writing the script and watching tutorials because I believe time spent learning is never wasted. That might seem slow as to some of you or ridiculously fast, but it's a time. And look, I'm probably gonna fail, but just think about this, that for a second. If you could finish filming and editing a video in an hour and 30 minutes every day, you could beat PewDiePie easily. You could become a YouTuber professionally easily. And look, that's gonna be the thing that I add to each of, these, each of my videos from now on. I'm gonna write filming and editing time in the description below and I'll time myself and I'll try my utmost to improve. Because if you can't break that habit of taking ages to finish a video now, you're never gonna break it, ever. Because I have so many stories that I wanna share with you and I don't see why I shouldn't give you a sneak peek at them. So here are the stories I'm, I'm really excited about. I'm really excited about telling you guys. So what I'm really excited about is to do, doing an in-depth analysis on PewDiePie. I also wanna to talk to you guys about my favorite novels. And I wanna tell you guys why I really like Twilight, even though it's it's a pretty con controversial topic, I guess. And also wuxia, wuxia novels uh, and light novels in general. And the books by Jim Butcher and Vampire Academy. I wanna make an open letter to Matthew Cote and the Dead by Daylight developers on changes that I personally want to see happen to the game. I'm just really excited about telling you guys all about these things. And I want to do all of them. And all of them just kind of culminate in this chaotic mess in my mind. And I'm afraid, really. I'm afraid that I won't, won't be able to tell them at this rate if I don't revolutionize the way I make things. I'm not trying to decrease the quality of the content. I just want to make it faster. I want to do all these the same things I do. I just want to make them so exponentially fast so I can really tell you guys about the stories which make me who I am. Now, let's see that in action. And yep, I just finished filming that, filming that, that other vi my other video. And um, I finished it within nine minutes. We'll see how the editing goes because I haven't finished that yet. And also the time-lapse that you saw over there, that was actually not the time-lapse that I was trying to film because you could see that tripod in the background, but uh, it actually failed. It actually ended up failing. So I had to use this other time-lapse, which wasn't really the same time-lapse, but yeah, it was the same, you know, anyway. It was a great video and yeah, we did it. Like, I didn't believe I could do it that, that quickly. It was really quick. So thank you every, everyone so much for being here and indulging me no matter how stupidly slow and irregular my upload schedule is. I just kind of needed this video to get back into my flow and to get, get things back in order. And then we're just gonna go back to our regular upload schedule. So that's it. I just needed this video for me to get back into my flow. So dreamy scarf out.